Good morning, everyone. This is Jen Nieto from the Pixie Post, and I'm back with Card of the Day for Friday, March 15, 2019. Yes, I know. I'm doing a video. Jeez, I keep changing my mind all over the place. But again, I am drawn to do this, so here we go. I pulled a really interesting card today. As you see, it's the full moon meaning completion. As usual, I'm going to read the passage from the booklet that comes with the deck, and then I'll expand on that. And uh, I think you'll all find it enlightening in one way or another. The passage says, You can now take pleasure in knowing that whatever you have been working toward has now reached its culmination. Now, it may have been a relatively brief cycle or a much more extensive one. Yet, regardless of the length of time, you have arrived at the stage of completion. Let yourself feel the contentment and satisfaction of this accomplishment. It's like when you take a deep breath and reach the point where your lungs are pleasantly full and your body is ready to release that breath. It's important, though, to not only enjoy this completion, but also to let go and allow yourself to relax afterwards, just like exhaling slowly and consciously. People are much too eager to rush to the next item on the agenda without giving proper time and space to appreciate and honor the natural cycle of release that follows the point of resolution. Give yourself that time to relax and rest before tackling Spirit's next assignment. Again, I resonate with this quite a bit. Um, I'm sure a lot of you do. And it's really interesting. We're going to have the full moon on... March 21st and we're reaching that point and as we draw closer and closer to that day we are finding things are completing um, cycles are in completion um, things are ending and there's even closure for some of you um, who needed that closure on positive or negative things in your life the, the thing that the passage said, it was really, really interesting, is not to jump the gun. Not to go, okay, I'm done with that. Let me jump into the next thing. And believe me, I'm kind of guilty of that. <laughs> so I'm learning not to do that so quickly. But it's a process, like anything. And it cautions people to do that because sometimes when you do that, you overwhelm yourself. Um, in the physical realm... Um, you might experience burnout, uh, overwhelm, anxiety, um, all those negative things that we really don't want to have come into our lives. And, you know, of course, we all deal with different things. But it's one of those things is we need to take a breath. Step back. Take a breath. Be conscientious of it. Be in the present moment. Enjoy the resolution. And reflect on it, take what you can learn from it, and also, if it's a kind of a victory for you, celebrate, enjoy. That's what life is here for. We're all here for a mission. We're from all different planes of existence, but while we're here, we're doing the human existence, and we're here to light other people's light and change this world for the better. So... While we're doing that, it's easy to forget ourselves. Um, I, I view it as self-care. And we all need self-care, whether it's physical, mental, spiritual, or all of the above. And it's vital and it's important to do that in order to help others. Because we don't do it for ourselves. Well, <laughs> we're not going to be able to help anybody else. So that's what I'm taking from it. And I think the full moon... Is always a time of completion that I do know. The new moon is for beginnings. And this full moon is going to be extremely powerful because we're in the retrograde. And as we get closer, we'll find things are coming to fruition and closing. And then after that, it'll be on to new beginnings. So enjoy everything that's going uh, in your on in your life as long as it's a positive thing of course um, if it's a hard time you're dealing with right now just know that the universe supports you you're supported 
and in general and you just um, you'll be okay you'll get through it just stay strong stay vital believe in yourself and know that you do have self-worth and you do have a purpose regardless of what it is you have a purpose so with that I will end the reading I hope you guys have a fantastic Friday um, if you want to more readings. Um, I have a few videos up now, so feel free to follow me, and you can see my other videos, plus I have some funny videos for my job, and I'll be doing some other type of videos. I'm kind of experimenting. So, anyway, I love you all, and steam on to my awesome, awesome steam community, and namaste.